Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <gasps> yes, indeed, folks, sampler review series videos I've been doing for a little while now. Go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. I just got off work and I'm pretty hungry, so I hope this is good. But we'll get to that. Folks, it's super simple format. I'm going to go over there and I'm going to try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm yammer on about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, folks, I'm wearing grody work clothes. Typically, when I'm inside the truck and I'm wearing grody work clothes, that means I was on my way home from work and I found some shit to review for you. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, that is kind of the case today. I definitely did just get off work not too long ago. But actually, uh, I did not pick this up on my way home. I picked it up on my break. Because I went over there, I, you know, took my break. And I was like, ah, you know what, man, it's been a little bit since I've hit up the 7-Eleven. So I went over there, I hit up the 7-Eleven, having a good old time. And I'm looking around for, you know, any potential items that might be tasty and or review worthy. And sure enough, they had a new item and I was like, all right. Sounds like a reviewable thing. So, what is it? Where's it from? What are we doing here, folks? Boom! It's from 7-Eleven. This is their Triple Stack Stacker, which is uh, smoked turkey and ham with cheddar cheese and jalapeno ranch sauce, all on a soft white sub roll. <gasps> Did I hear sub roll? Yes, indeed, folks, because this is a sub sandwich review. What would it being a sub sandwich review? I have to preface it with three things very quickly. Number one, for over two years now, I've been going on sub-sandwich adventures. What that means is I've been going out to chain locations, deli, supermarkets, wherever they sell sub-sandwiches. I've been trying them, I've been reviewing them, and I've been posting them to my uh, YouTube channel. Now, that's where number two comes into play, because I'm such a nice guy. That I don't just post it to my YouTube channel. I also have an entire playlist called Subs for Subs. That is where all my sub-sandwich reviews go. So, if you're over there and you enjoy my sub-sandwich stuff, hit that particular playlist up at the time I'm doing this. I have well over 100 sub-sandwich reviews there, and that's where number three comes to play. Because maybe, folks, maybe that's still not enough. Maybe you're greedy for sub-sandwich review and goodness. All you have to do is wait until Sunday. Why? Because Sunday is sub-day. That is the day when I go over there and I upload my sub-sandwich reviews to my YouTube channel and put them in the subs for subs playlist. So... If you like that stuff, just be patient. Every Sunday, you're going to get at least one sub sandwich review. But anyway, let's get to this. Let's give it a shot. Sounds pretty good. And, uh, okay. And these were definitely put out, like, recently. Like, I'm pretty sure I got the guy, like, right as he was going over there and uh, they were changing out the stuff. So, okay. Which is going to be the better one? Yeah. I think visually this will be the better one. It looks like... This, can we get a thing for a thing? Looks like this. Ha 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 Let's try out a sub sandwich from 7-Eleven. Uh, it's been a while since I've had one of their subs. That's not half bad. Genuinely, that's pretty decent. You get a lot of meat. Like, they didn't skimp on it. I also like the bread they use. This definitely isn't their normal sub bread. Almost reminds me a little bit of a French bread. But it's nice and soft. It's got that nice kind of little extra grainy texture, you know, but just a little something-something. Okay. This is the thing, like, because 7-Eleven always offers sub sandwiches, and they have, like, kind of basic ones that they do, like roast beef and kind of a, an American style, what have you. But every now and again, they'll come out with a new one, uh, and it'll be kind of special, you know, one way or another. Usually it's them bastardizing, like, some other nation's, you know, uh, food culture. Like, they did, like, a banh mi-style sandwich. Um, and, you know, so it's like they... The nice thing, though, is that even when they're kind of screwing up another culture sandwich, at the very least, they're usually pretty good. It seems like they just put more effort into those than their normal ones. And that, I would say, is represented here. Um, like I said, you're getting a good amount of meat, and it's actually tasty. Like, for being a pre-prepared sub that I got from a convenience store, it's actually not half bad, even a little bit.
The jalapeno ranch is really nice. I think it would have been a decent sandwich even without that. But having that on there, it just gives it, it bumps it up a little bit. It gives it a little bit extra personality. And kind of, you know, it gives it just add something that makes it a little bit memorable, you know? Not super memorable, but still, you know, convenience store sub, but, like, I like that. Um, I do want to mention the, uh, b -b -b the jalapeno ranch. It's not, like, super spicy or anything like that. You know, it's it gives it a little kick, but it's mostly for flavor. Um, you know, but it just it gives it a nice little bit of a, little bit of a tanginess. It's just, like, the most mildest heats kind of at the back of your throat. That's really, really nice. But yeah, honestly, this is genuinely a pretty good sub. Even the, uh, what was it? Even the cheddar, honestly. This is coming, for me, coming off less like a pre-made sub and more like a sub that I could have made at home. And what I mean by that is, like, a lot of times I've reviewed lots of pre-made subs. A lot of times, you know, they they don't work out all that well, you know? Like, they're clearly extremely low effort, you know, and a lot of times they've been sitting there for a little bit. Um, you know that when you're getting a pre-made sub, typically, emphasis on typically, you're getting a less than stellar experience. Now, this is not why we consider it a stellar experience. So I guess it is still technically less than a stellar experience, but... It isn't, like, a disappointing experience either, because, well, it's definitely not as good as, like, a proper, you know, like, actual made sub by, you know, an actual location. It seems like the type of sub that I could go over there and put together at home. Get some decent ingredients, fill it up a decent amount, you know, just, and then it's just that. You know, it's nothing super duper exceptional, but it's a good sub, and that is what I'm going to say with this is. I think this is a good sub sandwich. I am not only eating this for the review, I'm actually enjoying it. But, two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? I mean, I think for me personally, the answer is yes and yes. Um, honestly, if they could go over there and keep up the quality on this sub, I would say keep it. Make that a 7-Eleven branded sub. You know, keep that as, like, one of your regular ones. They won't do that, but I would genuinely like it if they would because, again, it feels and tastes, you know, higher quality than their other subs that I've... Maybe not every sub that I've had from them, but certainly than their standard subs. And, it, again, it comes off like a decent sub, you know? And, again, I have to mention that, you know, that jalapeno ranch is just really nice. I like that extra kick that it gives it. It's a good pre-made sub and while i won't say it's anything definitely not the best pre-made sub i've had it is well above average well above average so i think i would get that again uh, i don't know if i'd go out of my way for it but then that's where you know whether or not i'm recommending it it's still fundamentally a convenience store sub even if it is a very good example of one uh like i said i, I wouldn't go out of my way for it i'm not gonna travel you know, two towns over to hit up a 7-Eleven to try one. But, nice thing about 7-Elevens, you know, at least here in the United States, you know, they're, and actually in several other countries, they're pretty abundant. And, you know, this is one of those things where it's like, you know, I mean, I don't hit up 7-Eleven that often, but, you know, maybe, you know, two, three times a week, some or not a week, a month, something like that. And it's one of those things where if I were to run into it, I would pick it up, and I think that's kind of how that should be applied overall, is, you know, hey, if you happen to have one around you, or you need to stop somewhere, maybe get some gas or whatever, um, if you want a sub sandwich and you want it to be, again, well above average and, you know, actually pretty good, go ahead and get one. It's pretty solid. About the only people who maybe take issue with it would be, you know, again, maybe if you take issue with the spiciness, but it's, it's really not that spicy. Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Monumental rest of your month. Stupendous rest of your folks. Over there, yourselves a truly, surprisingly good sub-sandwich-tastic rest of your life. 
very final th or final two things, folks. Number one, try to bring some positivity into the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do it all the time, I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you got to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and just bullshit sometimes, folks. And when we find ourselves in situations where we have to deal with said bullshit, it's important we go over there whenever possible. Take a step back. Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully, do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks. Do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, here's what I want you to go out and do. Let me know. Are there any... You know, I, I'll call out for recommendations for places and stuff like that. But let me... I'm going to be a little bit more specific with this one. Are there any good pre-made subs that you'd recommend? You know? Uh, you know, be at a gas station, a supermarket, something like that. If it is, let me know. I'd be really interested to kind of, you know, hear your opinion on them. Um, and if there's something that I should potentially look into myself, obviously, you know needs to be kind of in Illinois, preferably around my area, but, you know, I'm sure I've been missing some as much as I've been doing these reviews for as long as I have, so, but anyway.